Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun project for you today using the Potions and Spells bundle. This is an online exclusive, which just means you can only find it on the Stampin' Up! website. It's not in any catalogs. Um, I know it's early, it's July, but um, online exclusives aren't guaranteed to stay in stock forever. Um, we never know if, when and if they're going to sell out. Um, they might not come back. A lot of them don't come back. So I had to uh, use it and show you guys how fun it is before it sells out. Um, it is a stamp and die bundle, and we're going to make this cute little slider for some Jelly Belly candy corns, candy corn Jelly Bellies, whichever way you want to say it. Um, you can find these on Amazon. I have them linked on my blog. Also on my blog is a free PDF that looks like this. This project is right here on the second page with the measurements and the supply list. All right, well, let's make the holder first. You're gonna need a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock that is four and a half by 11. On the short side, we're gonna score it at half an inch and four inches. And then the long side, just one time at five and a half. All right, now, let's see, move this out of the way. You're gonna take your bone folder and really burnish those lines. Get them nice and crisp, like this. And basically, we're just gonna fold this in on itself, like this, and adhere it like that. It's very easy. All right, now, let's make sure our lines are burnished straight, because, that is important. Okay, there we go. So now the best thing I think to use is tear and tape. And I'm just going to take it and put it on one side like this. And then grab your, take your pick tool to peel off that backing like that. And then you just fold it in half. Those folds there on the side give it a little bit of extra room. Um, you could do it without the score lines, but then I don't think you'd have enough room to, to slide in the candy. It just kind of creates a little bit of an opening. All right, the next thing we need to do is put on our designer series paper. I'm actually using a non-Halloween paper. This is the Flowering Xenia's designer series paper. I love this pack of paper because of the back sides. There's some great, really kind of monochromatic prints. So put that on the front, then grab a hole punch. Any size hole punch you wanna use. This one is a half inch and punch that out and then close it, line it up and punch the back side like that. Now grab a piece of your peach pie ribbon and we're just gonna kind of go across there, put it in a little bit like that and then I'm gonna take my jelly bellies and put them in that way. And then we'll thread these through these holes like this. Let's get it even. And we'll tie a ribbon, tie the ribbon up here like this. I really am enjoying these in color ribbons um, that we have this year. Not only do I love the colors, I love the ribbon. They're very soft and light. They don't really bulk up your projects. They look like they're going to be heavy and thick, but they're not. They're really light. All right, once you get that, you want to make sure to cut those ends off at an angle like that. And then you're just going to push that guy back in like that. All right, now for the fun part, let's make our cauldron. Um, I'm going to stamp the cauldron on basic gray cardstock, and I'm going to emboss it with our black embossing powder. I'm using an embossing buddy that removes any static that might be on your paper that'll hold those um, embossing granules in the place where you don't want them. It just kind of helps release those. So now I'm just going to stamp that big cauldron in Versamark, and you might not be able to see it because Versamark is a clear ink. But once you sprinkle on your black embossing powder, you'll see how awesome it is. This is the embossing additions kit. It's got the embossing buddy, the tray. It's got a paintbrush and reverse tweezers. 
um, which are great if you emboss as much as I do. I just keep it all in a drawer together with my embossing powders and it just really makes it nice and convenient. All right, now take your heat tool and go around. It'll take, you know, probably less than 30 seconds, but you'll know it's ready when everything turns shiny and bright. You can really see it happen. Um, I'm not sure on the video if you'll be able to see it happen, but I definitely can see it. Make sure you get that part in the middle, little handle. All right, I think we've got it. Okay, now we're gonna cut this out with a matching die. And you're also gonna cut out the broom. As you can see right here, I've already done that. I cut the broom handle um, from pecan pie cardstock and the little bottom of the broom part, um, the sweeper, if you will, in crumb cake. Now that uh, Highland Heather tag, I'll tell you is from a new set of dies called Greetings of the Seasons Dies, another online exclusive, which they're fabulous. Let me just show you those. They look like this, they're all tags. So these will be great at Christmas time when you wanna make Christmas tags, but we're just gonna use it right here for this one. Okay, so now we're going to take our cauldron and before we attach it, I wanna stamp those bubbles. And I need to kind of see where I want those bubbles. So I'm gonna kind of place my cauldron there and then eyeball it right about there. Okay, so then when I stick it on, it will cover them up. All right, I'm gonna use light Highland Heather first, and I'm just gonna color all of these bubbles in just a solid coating. Now these bubbles have this little shine mark, so try to stay on the outside of that shine mark. I think on my sample, I forgot about the shine mark, <laughs> and I, uh, I think I colored in most of them, but you wanna leave them white to give some of that contrast. Usually I'm just coloring real fast and not thinking. My hands move faster than my brain sometimes. All right, color those in. I'm gonna make it go down a little bit further than the image and then we'll do these. Um, there are these little diamond sparkly things here too and I'm just gonna leave those. I'm not gonna color them in, I'm just gonna leave them white. Okay. Now, take your dark, and anywhere that a bubble is overlapping another bubble, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of a shadow like that, okay? And then I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow down here where that cauldron will be. Now take your light, and this time just flick that darker color towards the top of each bubble that you put it on. Okay. It's gonna create a sh nice shadow. All right, looks good. Let's add some Wink of Stella because you know that this is gonna be a sparkly concoction from our which so let's add some week of style to really make it fun okay dimensionals okay right like that and then um let's get our broom and i'm gonna take a glue dot if i can find my glue dots and i'm just gonna get a glue dot on the end of this And attach it to my broom like that and then we'll get a dimensional and you know let's do two dimensionals make sure it doesn't go anywhere I'm gonna put that going up like that and we'll stamp our sentiment in memento black a little hocus pocus. Reminds me of that movie. I love that movie, the old one, Hocus Pocus. The new one is pretty cute too. 
All right, I'm gonna put that right there. Now you could, if you want, thread this through the hole, but why? All you have to do is put it on with a little glue dot, keeps it way easier than trying to mess with a teeny tiny hole and a teeny tiny bow. So just get a glue dot and stick that right there. And there you go, there's your tag. Bring back over the candy corn. Now these candy corn jelly bellies, I have seen them in the store before, but right now it's the middle of July. So I, I don't, <laughs> I haven't seen them. So if you wanna get ahead of the game and you want to order them, uh, you can do that now from um, Amazon. Okay, there you go guys, what do you think? So cute. All right, you know the drill. Click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, grab that free PDF. Let me know if you have questions and happy stamping. Bye.